Today, we're going to be going over the hypothesis testing critical region method. So, in a critical region method, this is the information they're going to give you. Okay, so you've got your um, hypotheses, uh, hypotheses, the null and the alternative. You've got a number of people in the sample, a number of things in the sample, which is 30 in our case. Uh, we've got a standard deviation, which is 5. And they say, can you work out the critical region of this uh, hypothesis test um, to the 5% significance level? So what I'm going to do is straight away, you should always write out the distribution of the sample mean. So I'm going to write x bar is normally distributed. All right, 100 comma, and then you do the 5 squared, which is the variance over the sample size 30. And I'm going to sort of sketch this out on a normal distribution curve. So what am I doing right now? It's a lower tail test. So I'm trying to work out what is that value for this, you know, distribution where the middle is 100. What value is it is that R such that getting less than it is the significance level? Now, there's a very easy way to work that out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to your calculator. I'm going to go to set menu, 7, then inverse normal. So that's 3. And I'm going to literally plug in these values that I've got now. So the area I want towards the left is, what did we say it was? We want it to be the significance level. So 0 0.05. And the standard deviation we're going to put as, remember, it's the square root of that variance. So I'm going to put 5 over root 30. Okay, and the mean is 100. And there we go. We just worked out that value is actually 98.5 to three significant figures. So finally, I'm going to say that the critical region is when r is less than 98.5 so basically if you've done the test and someone done the test and they they had a sample of 30 and they got that the mean was actually 97 they would say that okay we'd have to reject the null hypothesis because it's in the critical region but then if we done a another mean of, of 30 people and we got that the mean was actually 100 we'd have to basically or let's let's say 99 We'd say that okay, this is not less than 98.5, so we'd we'd accept non-null hypothesis. That's the whole point of critical region method. Okay, so we have that region. Now, when you've got upper tail, it's really and truly it's the same thing. Okay, so first thing you need to do is write up this distribution of x bar, which will be a hundred comma, and then we got five squared over thirty. Uh, just sketch this out and uh, we're trying to work out because it's upper we're trying to work out what this value is towards the upper end of the table okay such that getting more than it is 0 0.05 again so if i go to my calculator remember calculator works towards the left hand side so what i mean by that is whatever area you need to, you're going to put in it should be less than so what's the area less than this value that I'm trying to work out? It's actually 0 0.95, right? So I'm going to put in the calculator 0 0.95. Standard deviation is going to be, again, 5 over roots 30. And mu, again, is 100. And there we go. We've got the upper critical region, 101.5. So critical region is when r is greater than 101.5 okay you always write r and then whatever they had in the um upper uh, whatever they have in the alternative hypothesis now let's end it off by doing uh, a two-tail test okay again very simple literally the same thing i'm going to write out the sample mean distribution and i got 100 comma uh it would be five squared over 30 and I'm trying to work out two values now. So if I sort of sketch my normal distribution curve, what we're going to do is I'm going to half the significance level, okay? And I'm trying to work out these two values such that getting less than this one is 0 0.025 and getting more than this one 
is 0 0.025. Okay, so what would those two values be? Okay, well, very straightforward, literally the same thing that we've been doing the whole time. We're going to go to our calculator. Um, let's try to work out this lower one first, right? So we can go to our calculator. I'm going to put area 0 0.025. Um, sigma will be 5 over root 30, as we've always been doing. And 100 again. And there we go. That's our lower critical region, 98.21 to four significant figures. And the upper, what we're going to put is the upper. Remember, we have to enter the area less than it. So what's the area less than this? We'd have to say is one take away 0 0.025, which is basically 0 0.975. Keep everything else the same. And we've got our upper critical region, 101.79. Okay, or let's say 101.8 to four significant figures. Okay, so what is the critical region? The critical region is R is less than this value and R is greater than the other value. And there we have it.